Yes, uh, extravasation means that there's leakage from the vein or the catheter into the tissues. Now, it's for that reason that we usually, we almost always use a, a, a port. Because if you have a port, it goes into a deep vein and there's usually not that problem. But when it's in a peripheral vein, like in your arm or something, especially if they do in the hand, which you should never do. But basically, you don't want to get chemotherapy if you have, in one of these peripheral veins, just because if it leaks out of the vein into the tissues, it can be a problem. So there are basically three kinds of three classes of chemos in, um, I mean, three classes in terms of their toxicity. And one is called a, a vesicant, and the vesicant is the worst kind. The, the other one is called an irritant, and the other one is called a non-irritant. So the irritant and non-irritant just need to be diluted and cleaned out and. You know, you can use that by putting hot, comp you know, putting hot compresses uh, several times a day to get the uh, and dilute it with, you know, clean it out with fluid. But hot, hot uh, compresses throughout the day will make the blood vessels dilate and just flush it out like that. It, it could irritate the skin and things like that. But a vesicant is very dangerous, and you want to you want to restrict. So if you get that right away, if it's been a vesicant and there, and you have to look up, go online to look up, uh, and they'll give you lists of which chemos are, are in which category. But if it's a vesicant, it's very, very dangerous. It can produce necrosis. In other words, it, kill, it can kill the muscle, kill the tissues there. And so what they recommend for that is the opposite, is you want to prevent it. You wouldn't put a, a warm on it to dissipate it because you don't want it to spread. You'd put ice on it several times a day to restrict it from going around and just keep it in one spot so you can, because it can be dangerous and actually cause necrosis. People have lost have lost their arm or lost other things. It can be very dangerous. So I imagine if this was done at an oncology center, that's one of the things that they, they're good at is, is taking care of, taking care of these kinds of things.